Cause it ain't nothing but a crew thing, baby. All right, how's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project now. It is in the middle of January and <laughs> the sun is out. We've been working and it is warm. Not too warm. It's actually perfect working weather right now. As you can see, I'm down into the t-shirt and we are onto the next phase of the project. Now that we got these piers lined up about where we want them, we're going to start outlining where those piers are and then we gotta dig because we wanna get these piers into the ground. We wanna get these piers into the ground to provide some more security and stability for the structure because obviously we're making a giant sail. We wanna sink these into the ground. So it's gonna be a busy day. The wind's picking up. It's getting kind of crazy out here. So basically we just traced around each of the piers so that we know where we're gonna be digging probably gonna be some adjustments when we do because I'm sure it's probably gonna change a little bit it's probably gonna change the position of the blocks a little bit so we're gonna dig down kind of make some adjustments and we should be going good from there Jessica and I have been digging these holes I'm trying to get it's difficult getting anything filmed today because the wind today has just been crazy but I've been going through starting to dig these holes for these piers and just because we've kind of been going around behind me and just kind of doing the fine detail work making sure they're level at the bottom and making sure uh, the piers will it's wide enough for the piers to fit in and there's jumpy <laughs> so yeah it's another day out here we're still working on our the rain roof project and it's a little chilly out here. <laughs> uh, that's why we're that's why we're dressed up like monks. Or I don't know. What do you think you're dressed up as? I like your little red hood. A little red riding hood. Just because it's been doing a tremendous job getting in there and fixing all my holes. I go in there just make a a crude hole and then Jessica refining it with her tanks. Thanks for refining my holes. So as of right now, we are almost halfway done with getting holes dug for all these piers. So that means we still got, how many more does that mean we got? In short, we got a lot of holes left to dig. We are now halfway done with digging these holes. It has been taking us a while. I think today's been a little slower just because it's been so cold. And by cold, I mean like, 40 to 50 degrees. <laughs> Most of the people around the country are probably like, shut up, you don't know what cold is. <laughs> but it's windy too, so that counts. That counts for something. <laughs> but check this out, check this out now. A lot of holes, Doug, a lot of holes. So about 18 so far. That means we got about 17 more to go. Well, technically, so we're a little over half. That's, re that's reassuring. <laughs> Doesn't just go look adorable. Your red hood. <laughs> it's enough of the clicking. <laughs> Whoa. -oh. We are now on day three. I'm trying to dig holes for these piers. It's taking a little while. For sure, but I'm glad I don't have to dig post holes because that would take me forever. I'd probably, it's probably be, probably take like a couple weeks to dig all these holes if there were post holes. But it's coming along. We are definitely going to get this done today. Right? Yeah. What? Butter, 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 butter. Yeah. We just got nine left to do. That ain't no thing. I can't bother Jessica though right now. She's listening to something which I'm sure is educational and is, I'm sure it's educational. I'm sure it's feeding her 
in mind and spirit, but I can't. But she's working hard over here, and I'm, I'm just busy. And I'm just wandering around and I'm doing anything. I gotta stay ahead of the game. Gotta make sure she doesn't catch up to me. <laughs> I don't see a crew and I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It might not be a good, we gotta go on a crew hunt. Crew. <laughs> you doing okay over here, buddy? He's doing okay, he's busy sniffing around, patrolling, doing his thing, doing his crew thing. Cause it ain't nothing but a crew thing, babe. So it is the evening time. We've been working for a good part of the day, not all. We've been working for a good part of the day, not all the day, not all day. Uh, I was bouncing back and forth between a couple of different activities, but we have finally got all the holes dug. Thirty-five of them all together. It is crazy. It's getting chilly out. Sun's going down. It's getting chilly right away. But the weather today was pretty good. It was really nice for for digging. I realize that this will end up being the third episode in this building series, and I haven't given enough given a shout out to my buddy Warren. <laughs> and that's critical because Warren over at the Arizona Homestead Project played a critical role so far in helping us with this project. Before I even got started, I was like, hey Warren, I know you got that laser level, can you help, can you bring that down and help out? I just wanna know, I wanna know the, the slope going from one end of the, our, uh, the build to the other. And he was like, yeah, no problem. He's like, can we do it right away? Cause he's busy too, he's got a big project going on. You definitely wanna check that out. But he's like, no problem, I'll be right down. And sure enough, he comes right down. Not only does he help me figure out uh, how big of a drop there is between one end to the other with this laser level, which was super helpful. But then he also brings us the, uh, these batten boards and spikes to help us to help us get everything square. So generous. Uh, that was an amazing help. Warren, thank you very much for all you do. <laughs> you, are, you are incredible, sir. All right, everyone, uh, it's nighttime. Got a lot of work done today. Just kidding, actually it was the other day and I'm filming this on the next day. <gasps> Secret out! Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy putting holes in the ground. Definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already and share it with a friend or two because they like digging holes too. And feel free to leave a comment down below. We get some really good comments, lots of good suggestions and we've been listening. Thank you so much. All right. Catch you on the next video, everyone. Bye.